Well, if it wasn't for First Nations Development Institute, there would not be a program of financial literacy that is culturally focused towards Native American students. The students would be learning from a generic financial literacy text and wouldn't have the connection that they're making now. I think part of the reason we're having the success that we're having is that the students can connect with the material. And we just worked out the math on that, and he's only got to save $11.25 a week. Does that look sound manageable? One of the first things we do in this course is we look at how did traditional communities handle their natural resources to survive. And we look at that model so that we can look forward at how we're going to handle the resource of money so that we can not only survive but prosper. Finally, our ancestors planned what portion of the harvest to set aside for their future needs. Fantastic. You know, in this area we have a lot of payday lenders, predatory lenders is what they're often referred to as, and it's amazing how many people get involved in that and don't have a clue or idea what's really happening to them once they start using that. And that, that's one aspect of it. The other aspect is being able to have a budget, to be able to have a checking account, to take control of your finances to where you don't have to go to those type of places and be able to, to function and, and be financially literate. Last year, I believe it was the first year that the Treasury Department, uh, the United States Treasury Department, put out an online test for what they called financial capabilities. And um, I had several students take the test, and we had two students who finished in the top 20% nationally. Um, and this was just after ju at just piloting the program. Um, so I'm very proud of that uh, success story. When we talk about long-term goals, these are things that we're going to save up for between one and five years. And then the students go home and talk with their families about what we're learning. They talk with their parents, they talk with their aunties, they talk with their grandparents. And many of our students have children of their own. And we talk about that. How are you going to be teaching this material to your young ones? And that the impact of this material will go on for many, many generations. First Nations Development Institute has been essential in piloting this program, in giving us the materials, in supporting how I have structured the course in our vision of where this course is going to go. With, without them, we wouldn't be where we are now. This program is for Native students and for Native communities, and uh, Gallup, New Mexico is a Native community.